My name is Billy Foster, and this is my wife, Renee Foster. We're from Gary, Indiana. And I was originally diagnosed with a, a cancerous tumor in my kidney in 1996. And we had the, the tumor removed at that time. And not until 2007 did I hear from the cancer again. Um, we found that the, I had a metastasis to my lung and liver, and also some lesions found in my brain. And since that time, we've been at the University of Chicago. Um, we tried a couple of drugs. One was Sutin, and now I'm in a clinical trial, which is, fortunately for me, been able to keep the cancer uh, under control and uh, even reduce some of the tumors. At one time, I had to, at the beginning of this, I had to have a gamma knife surgery. I had three lesions in my brain, and. Um, those were eliminated with a gamma knife surgery. So I've been very fortunate, I feel. I think it's important to keep a, a good attitude about this and do a lot of praying, because I feel that we really aren't in control. God's really in control of, of this whole situation. And you have to have good family support and good support for your friends. I have several friends that have me on their prayer list, and so I feel very fortunate in that. And right now I'm feeling Pretty good. Renee is my caregiver. Renee, do you have? Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have uh, sustained um, the test of time. And in, in, in talking to those of you who are listening and coping with the um, bout of cancer, it is a battle. And it, you have to kind of make your mind up as to whether or not you want to be a survivor. And a lot of times you'll find that you'll need people that are around you who offer support, but then you have to have those who listen. You have to seek out, if possible, those who understand about education in the areas that your cancer or certain kidney cancer or wh whatever it is. You have to then be knowledgeable, and if you're not able to do that, then you have to seek out somebody who is your advocate, who then supports you in, in the endeavors of surviving with this cancer. And all in all, it has made us a stronger couple, and we have uh, an understanding that there's a higher power who controls everything. And in the course of um, learning who you are and whose you are, you then develop a sense of uh, communication. Not only do you communi communicate with the doctors, you communicate with each other. Sometimes they'll have to say, shut up, stop talking, let me do it. But I, as his advocate, as his caregiver, have learned to understand the valuable importance of connecting with people and, and understanding how to communicate to get what you need and to uh, resolve the matter as best you can. And we'd like to thank the Kidney Cancer Association and the University of Chicago for giving us this opportunity. We've had a wonderful conference. And, and also the various doctors, the nurses, the various individuals who are the, the, the ones who take your blood pressure, the ones who monitor your uh, tests, that, like you have the one test where he found out that you could put crystal light in it and it would, what's the name of that? Oh, CT scan, you can put crystal light in the. Yeah, so you learn, you live and learn.